Lighting problems are common in photography. Photos taken in bright light often lack detail in the shadow areas. If your photo's background is too bright, or if the difference between the photo's light and dark areas is too great, you can lighten the darker, underexposed areas with a fill light. The term fill light, or fill flash, refers to the light source that is used to fill in the shadow area of an image. Picture your subject being lit from behind. It can create almost a silhouette effect. To see more detail, a fill light is required. In PaintShop Pro, there are two ways to adjust fill lighting. In this tutorial, we'll look at both of them. To start, I'm going to give myself a little bit more working space by collapsing my menus. I can click on this thumbtack and it will hide the menu for me. I'm going to do the same to my navigator and to my organizer. If I need to access the organizer or navigator again, it's simply a matter of doing a mouse over on the tab and it will appear. I'm going to start with fill light and clarity. So from the adjust menu, I'll scroll down to brightness and contrast and I'll select fill light and clarity. If your dialog box looks like this, you can select preview on image. Now, if I make a change to one of these sliders, that will be reflected in my image. Or by clicking on preview, you can get a larger preview. Let me maximize this. And now I can see my before and after. I'm going to set the fill light to about 40 or 50. As you can see, this will lighten the darkest area of the photo. I'm going to set the clarity control. Now clarity lets you adjust the level of detail in the image by analyzing contrast within the localized area. A positive number increases the detail. A negative number decreases the detail and focus. A value of zero preserves the original setting. I'm going to set my clarity to about 60. Again, a positive number versus a negative number. And I'm going to leave mine at about 60. I'm happy with those results. I'll simply click OK. Now, one nice thing about that dialog box is it will remember the last settings. I'm going to open up my second image. Again, from the Adjust menu, Brightness and Contrast, Fill Light and Clarity. I'm going to leave the clarity where it is for this one, but I'm going to bring up the Fill Light to about 60. I like that. I'll click OK. Now the final image I'm going to bring up for Fill Light and Clarity is the image of my fence. For this one, from the Adjust menu, Brightness, Contrast, Fill light and clarity. I'm not going to change the settings at all. I'm happy with that. I'll simply click OK. Now let's take a look at fill flash. The term fill flash and fill light are interchangeable. But with the fill flash option, we have the ability to adjust the saturation rather than clarity. Let's see how that works. I'm going to open up my kitchen shot. And from the Adjust menu, I'm going to go down to Fill Flash. Here we can see a similar dialog box. I have the ability to preview on image. I can also click on this for a larger preview. I'm going to select the larger preview. For this image, I'm going to bring my strength up to about 70. Now, of course, I can use the up and down rotary controls, or I can actually type the value in. I've made my image brighter. Now there's a slight bit of a cast here. I'm going to drop the saturation down on this a bit. I'm happy with that. I'll click OK. Let's do one final image. Go back to my organizer. I'll bring up my two giraffes. And then from the Adjust menu, down to Fill Flash. And in the Fill Flash dialog box, I'm going to take my strength and I want to bring this down to about 45. That's good enough. That's 46. And 
and I'll bring the saturation up to about 40 as well. I'm happy with that. I'll simply click OK. So we've seen two different ways to compensate for poor lighting. To end off this session, I have a little tip. When modifying a number of images in PaintShop Pro, rather than saving each one as you make the adjustments, you can do them all at the same time by closing out all windows and opting the Save Selection. Here, I'll show you what I mean. From my Windows menu, I'm going to go down to Close All. In the Close All dialog box, I want to make sure all my images are selected, and then I'll simply click Save Selected. I'll click on Save. It's going to tell me that it's going to replace those. That's fine. I'll say yes to this. Now here we have the ability to do an auto-preserve the original, and that will basically back up the original of my images. I'll just simply click OK for that. And I'll click Yes. And now all images have been saved. That brings us to the end of this tutorial on working with fill lighting. If you have found this tutorial useful, be sure to check out learn.corel.com for more equally informative tutorials.